Let's discover some truths about long-term care on this episode of Retirement Smarts. One of the things we discuss with our clients as financial planners is long-term care. I mean, let's face it, we're all living longer and we have to protect ourselves in case we need some sort of care. And there's a lot of misinformation out there regarding this topic. One of the things you'll hear about from the insurance companies is that 50% of those over the age of 65 will eventually need some sort of long-term care. And you think, well, okay, it's a coin toss. I'm gonna need long-term care at some point in time in the future. Well, that's not exactly the full story. You see, what they don't tell you is that of that 50% who eventually need long-term care, fully 80% of those people will be over the age of 75 when they actually need those benefits. So if you get a long-term care policy thinking you're going to get its needed benefits sooner as opposed to later, what you're going to find is that you're going to be paying on those benefits 5, 10, 15 years or more before you may even need those benefits. And that's just the, the tip of the iceberg with this industry today. As many people are aware that the long-term care insurance industry has shrunk dramatically. The largest long-term care insurer in the industry, John Hancock, recently stopped accepting new policies that were not group related because they're having trouble managing the costs. And if you have a policy, what you found and what you probably are finding today is that almost every five years or so, you're getting asked for a cost increase. So either you can increase your benefit or you can keep your benefits uh, the way they are and you have to pay more um, or you can pay what you were paying but you have a lesser level of benefits and that's just a problem. So the problem that we're having as financial planners is that we buy insurance to protect against a need and unfortunately the insurance we're buying we have no idea what to expect from long-term care insurance policies and long-term care insurance companies in the next 10 or 15 years. So we're very cautious when it comes to long-term care. Um, Long-term care insurance policies many times are not worth the paper they're printed on when it comes to releasing benefits. We have a client uh, who has a mother. Her mo mother is uh, 90 years of age, 90 plus years of age, and she had been paying on a long-term care insurance policy for over 20 years. And the client's mother is legally blind. The mother has actually been living with the daughter for last decade or so. Because she's legally blind, um, can still do a lot of the things that most of us already can do. You see, when you have a long-term care insurance policy, how they decide if they're going to pay you relates to something called activities of daily living. And usually you have to be in a condition that you cannot do three of six activities of daily living. And those activities can be toileting, getting dressed, showering, eating, that sort of a thing. And there's six of them. Well, the problem for this client was her mother, because she was legally blind, she could still see, she could get around, she could cook, she could actually take care of herself, she just couldn't drive. Uh, but she had to move in with her daughter because she needed some extra help. But the mother had been paying into this policy and she didn't meet enough of the activities of daily living to release benefits. So not only do we have a problem with her paying for decades for this policy, she now gets nothing for paying for this policy. So the key thing is if you have a long-term care insurance policy, have it reviewed because there are some that are better than others. And also, if you're thinking about it, get a second opinion. And if you'd like some help deciding if you need to keep your long-term care insurance policy or if you need one, give us a call. We'd love to help you. If you like that video and would like to learn the most common mistakes people make in, at, or near retirement, I just created a free retirement strategies course. Click on the link below and I'll send it to you immediately.